You could try to capture the tempo of this town. Temp, take a photo. <laughs> Strikingly beautiful. Of its heartbeat. I'm looking for angles. He easily gets, you know, 50 to 100 pictures of them a day. Yeah, blew me away, actually. But for all the pictures, beautiful or bizarre, one image stands out. A dog walk itself on a leash. Come on, let's go. Oh my God. Oh, is he cute. Like many golden retrievers, nine-year-old Sporty liked to carry something like a toy or ball in his mouth. But years ago, he instead began toting his own tether. I insist on it. It's kind of a mutual thing. His owner, David Duncan, adopted the former agility and championship show dog. Sporty has since taken his leash and his showmanship to the sidewalk as the city's unofficial fluffiest landmark. He was in Chicago Magazine, he was in New York Mag. You are an awesome oh, dog. He is a little bit of a local celebrity around here, yeah. Duncan is quick to point out if anyone is uncomfortable with the retriever's reception, he's never too far away, and sporty strap goes back on. No, 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 you come on. From nine to five, Duncan is an options trader. I yell and scream all day. Because of that, sporty is as much a therapy dog for him as the canine is for all the strangers he greets. He's everything. I, I don't know what I'd do without him. I really don't. Hi, baby. Or he spreads the love. He makes people happy, you know? I just want to give him back, you know, what he's given me. A dog that walks to a different beat. Oh, my God. He's so Sporty may not own this river walk, but he's got a leash on it. We're going to do this as long as he wants. Four time prayers of a different sort That's a blessing. are answered inside Chicago's Moody Church. I feel gorgeous. <laughs> You're getting pretty fine. You look unbelievable. A kind of baptism of beauty takes place. Refreshing them up. You're adorable. Oh my God. You're like a celebrity. You got two people working on your hair. Hairspray gushes, company blushes and brushes. One, two, three. Beautiful. It is all in an effort to take the perfect family photo. Beautiful. For people like Joanna go. Dampier. Look, Mari, say cheese. Today's not for you, is it? No, today's not, it's for my brother-in-law. They can't see him over the holidays. He's in prison. I miss him dearly. But there is a way the family's image can visit. Perfect. The program, Help Portrait Chicago, allows loved ones who can't afford the hundreds of dollars needed to take a professional holiday portrait. We're happy today. The snapshots are converted to no-cost holiday cards. We're getting it for free. For volunteers, it is a chance to help families in crisis. It makes you feel good. But I'm not doing this just because I want to help them. I'm doing this because I know what it feels like. like David Dolce focused on hair for 13 years. But before then, his focus was on where he could get his next meal. I had no food. I'd go to food pantries to get what I ate. Were you homeless at one time? I've definitely been homeless. I've slept couch to couch to couch to couch. I slept outside just because I was too proud to go ask for help and to go anywhere else. Head up slightly. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for other people helping me when I needed help. Beautiful. Organizers count more than 150 <laughs> portrait sessions taken. <laughs> but they lost count of the number of smiles. Beautiful big smile. A picture bringing needed joy to families with volunteers finding purpose in portraiture. I'll be here every year. I'll be here every year. Jeremy Ross. Beautiful. CBS 2 News. This is surreal for me. There are 78,000 miles on this Blues Brothers inspired ride. The speaker on the roof is just a prop. Owner Paul Andrews tells us about the 1974 Dodge Monaco sedan. Coupe. So this is the Blues Mobile we brought up here. It was trailered more than a thousand miles from Dallas, Texas by friend and East Chicago native Kevin Carroll. The Cubs and Blues Brothers fan needed it for the game of a lifetime. We deserve this. And a moment to match. Mary Elizabeth, <laughs> will you marry me here? Yeah. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> Both were brought together by fate after cancer took each of their spouses. Kevin's late wife of 20 years, Heidi, passed away in 2010. Mary Buchanan's died of lung cancer in 2011. I hope to spend the rest of our life with you. Now a visit to Chicago with a classic car and a historic baseball backdrop marks a new beginning for each. Love took a road trip to Wrigley Field. This is the best, one of the best days of my life. Mother Nature played through this Palos golf course. <laughs> Bring your snorkel.
The resulting rain turned greens and fairways into waterways. It's basically like a waterfall right now. Maintenance worker Carl Pikett says 90% is flooded and it may take days before geese are replaced by golfers, meaning a slight shift to the business's bottom line. But it's the water hazard next to the golf course that some vehicles manage to maneuver through. The water impacting commuter and commercial traffic along Southwest Highway at 131st Street. Half a dozen to a dozen businesses that are affected. Elsewhere, cars cut through the pooling ponds on the pavement. Bumpers in Bucktown managing to keep above the water line as debris clogs drains, creating city flooding pains. This, this is amazing. You ever seen anything like this? Not this bad. This is the worst I've ever seen. You bother with a putter, or you just bring a pontoon. Uh, I think you're gonna. You, I think you're gonna need a pontoon. Gary Balakit plays this course. Now he barely recognizes it. Th this is unbelievable. For now, golfers like him will need to take a rain check. Cars nearby will need to take a detour. If you're coming out to drive, I'd I'd say bring a canoe.